Christmas. According to the latest data from the Entertainment Software Association, three quarters of all Americans have at least one gamer in their household. Many of those gamers are children, but not all games are age appropriate. So during the holiday season, the Entertainment Software Rating Board offers a clear and easy way to understand rating systems. Here to tell us more are President of ESRB, Patricia Vance, and Vice President of Merchandising for GameStop, Eric Bright. Hi, you guys. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Thank you. So our first question, I guess, is what will likely be the most popular games this holiday season? There's some great options out there for this holiday season. <clears throat> for the younger gamer, you've got Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, that's available on the Nintendo Switch. And then with all of the upcoming buzz on this next Star Wars movie, you've got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That's a great option for teenagers in your home. And then for the older gamer, 17 years and up, you've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is always one of the top selling games of the holiday season. All right, so how can parents really decide and really know and feel confident that they're making the right choice for their kiddos? Well, it's easy. On the front of every game box, there's an ESRB rating. We have several different age rating categories, E for everyone, T for teen, M for mature, which will give you an idea of the age appropriateness of that particular game. But there's more. When you flip the box over, you'll also get content descriptors, which will give you an indication as to why we assigned the age rating that we did. And then even deeper, we go into certain interactive elements in the game, things like in-game purchases or users interact for multiplayer online games. We know that parents want to know about those interactive features, so we're providing that information now right on the box. Additional details on games? They can go to GameStop.com slash gift ideas, and that will give them <clears throat> the additional information that they're looking for, not only the content descriptors, but also details about the game itself. Wonderful. We love that. So how can parents really limit the amount of time that kids are playing games? Or how can wives limit the amount of time that their husbands are playing games? Do you have any tips for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, so... First of all, set some household rules and ground rules. That applies to your husband as well. <laughs> but in addition to that, in addition to that, there are parental controls for every game device, whether it's a mobile device, a computer, or a game console. And we set up a website called parentaltools.org, which gives parents specific step-by-step -step instructions that they should follow to th do things like set time restrictions, or set spending limits, or manage online communications, sometimes even specifically call out people that their kids can play with online. Um, and then, of course, you can block by age rating as well. So those parental controls are really essential tools for parents uh, to help them manage the video games that are played in their home. Awesome. Okay, Eric, one last question for you. So, you know, as we cycle through, sure. as kids get older, they might not want to play the same games, right? So is there a way that we can kind of maximize that for, for families? Absolutely. GameStop has a unique ability to be able to offer to consumers the ability to trade in those old games that are just sitting around that they're not playing any longer. Um, trade those in for cash towards the credit for new games that they can purchase. And they could use that credit towards hardware, software, or accessories around video games. Very helpful, guys. Thank you so much for your advice. Anywhere we can go for more information from you. Well, ESRB.org for rating information and access to parental controls information. And GameStop.com uh, GameStop slash gift ideas for a great list of gifts for everyone to shop from. Perfect. We will check it out. Happy holidays to you both. Thank you. Thank to you. you. Likely the last time you had Jägermeister, it probably wasn't a very sophisticated moment. Stay tuned, though. We've got a new way to enjoy the classic drink.